So, NASCARians, here is the craziest wreck of the caught era. And you would say, where were all the big ones and all the wrecks? Compared to typical Talladega races, Sunday's event was a complete anomaly. So, do you want to know what happened at Sunday's Yellowwood 500 at the Talladega Super Speedway? If yes, then welcome back to our channel, where you get every update related to NASCAR. So, let's begin. Sunday's Yellowwood 500 at Talladega Super Speedway featured more uncertainty than normal, and that's saying a lot since the 2.66-mile monster with 33-degree banked turns is usually one of the most chaotic and heart-pounding tracks on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. But after last week's race at Texas Motor Speedway, where Alex Bowman got a concussion and Cody Ware had to use crutches to get into the garage at Talladega, the safety problems with the next-gen car were more obvious than ever. Let's just say that the 36 drivers were more anxious than usual as they buckled up and drove 500 miles through Alabama. Would another driver be seriously injured in the next-gen vehicle? Will everyone in the field play it safe and the race will be run in a single-file line? Would this be the season's 20th different winner? Will a playoff driver win a playoff race for the first time? What followed was three hours and 15 minutes of close quarters racing that ended with Chase Elliott in victory lane and a healthy crowd at Talladega going wild as the series' most popular driver won his fifth race of the season. The raucous crowd's cheers were not lost on the Dawsonville, Georgia native. The field was side-by-side -side for the entire 188 laps, resulting in 17 different leaders and 57 lead changes there was only one accident that involved more than one car, and it happened on lap 25. Austin Sindrick, Harrison Burton, Joey Logano, Ty Gibbs, Justin Haley, Rick Stenhouse Jr., Noah Gragson, and Justin Algayer were all involved. When the sixth and final caution flag flew with six laps remaining as Daniel Hemrick's number 16 Chevrolet stalled on pit road, it set up a green-white checkered finish and everyone expected to see a slew of wrecked race cars. So, it's going to be a green-white checkered, and we're all going to smash into each other and see what happens. 14th place finisher Eric Almirola radioed his number 10 Stuart Haas racing crew. The front row was led by Eric Jones and Ryan Blaney, who was followed by Michael McDowell, Ross Chastain, Elliott, and Todd Gilliland. But the last two laps were clean and green, and Elliott won. Last week at Texas, Elliott fell to seventh in the standings, but he came back on Sunday to beat his good friend Blaney to the finish line by .046 seconds. As a result, Elliott is the first playoff driver to receive an automatic berth to the round of eight. While Blaney was disappointed because he has yet to win a race this season, he was surprised by the lack of a major wreck in the final laps. Chase Briscoe, who finished 10th, was also surprised there wasn't a major wreck. Yeah, I mean, it was tame in a sense there was no wreck, but I felt like, I mean, that was the most racy race from start to finish. I mean, we barely ever ran single file, and these cars, it's just so hard to make up ground. The 2022 NASCAR Cup Series postseason is halfway finished, with five races completed and five races remaining. While everyone may be able to catch their breath, now that Talladega has passed and the series has a home race at the Charlotte Motor Speedway Roval next weekend, Elliott is the only playoff driver who may be able to sleep well this week. At Charlotte, the final seven spots in the round of eight are up for grabs, with Briscoe and Sindrick tied for the final spot. William Byron is only 11 points back and Christopher Bell is 33 points back. If Bowman is cleared to return, he will essentially need to win next week in order to continue his playoff run. What do you think? Will Bowman be able to win? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.